Hey, welcome back everyone to day three of the TTC, the Test Championship. This is New Zealand taking on Afghanistan uh, after quite an eventful final session on day two. Afghanistan lost quite a number of wickets to be all out for 150. New Zealand in reply, 19 without loss after a Tom Blundell review overturned an LBW decision early in uh, the second over, I think, of New Zealand's second inning. So they've got a bit of a lead at the moment. Uh, their lead up to 118 with that boundary. Gee, the shadows are quite absurd. <laughs> the first few minutes of the day, you can't see anything. Because there's a little edge that goes uh, just short of the slip field up. But, jeez, uh, it's definitely... Definitely something that the Afghanistan need early. Is they need a few wickets. There's another edge, but again, it's uh, dropping short. So maybe those fielders behind the stumps need to push in a little bit. That's the second time we've seen an edge drop short. And that time, it's a wicket. Can't review this one, Blundell. It is just been chopped on to the stumps. And he's off. Good boy. New Zealand lose their first wicket, one for 26. 26 for one. Which is the way you'd like to pronounce it. They've lost the wicket. And now the spinner, Zahir Khan, is on. He took six in the first innings. There's a big shout. Gee, this one awfully close. I reckon maybe just going down the leg side. This time there was bat in it. It ballooned. The keeper didn't take it, but the uh, silly point did. And the silly point fielder said, thank you very much. Look at this absurdity. The keeper misses it. The silly point comes in, grabs the ball, which then goes onto the stumps, off his catch. I mean, it wasn't really a run out or a stumping, because it was a catch. But a strange dismissal nonetheless, and Kane Williamson out for 10, New Zealand 37 for 2. Jeez, he's had two really poor innings, Kane Williamson, so far today. Uh, so far, sorry, in this uh, test match. What am I going there today? Today's just started, but it's been a poor session from him. Tom Latham's going to depart as well. He's hit that one into the air. Rashid Khan's got a wicket now. But, you know, we, we just talk about the spinners being effective in the first innings. How effective can they be in the second innings? We saw Mitch Santner take five for New Zealand with uh, Zahir Khan taking six in the first Afghanistan innings. That's 11 of the 20 wickets that fell. Coming from the bowling of spinners. Rashid Khan didn't take a wicket in the opening innings. He's got one in this second one. The lead of New Zealand up to 156. Ross Taylor with 90 in the opening innings. Has made 19 in the second as that's given out as well. Rashid Khan's got a couple. Including the big wicket of Ross Taylor who was the only one that really took to this pitch in a dominant fashion. For either side, he's out for 19, New Zealand 61 for 4. And that lead, as we said, 159 at the moment. You just wonder what is obviously a, a, an unattainable score on this pitch. I think the highest score we've seen is 240, uh, 245, which is what New Zealand got in the first innings. This should be another wicket from an outside edge. So things are happening quite quickly now. This test match is really progressing at quite a speed. We're going to see a review here. Did he actually hit this ball? What does Hotspot suggest? I mean, the keeper is about him. <laughs> He's in front of the stumps, the gloves. Yeah, there's definitely a hotspot there. But the keeper's gloves, have a look at them. They are a mile in front of the stumps. That can't be real. Jeez. Anyway, outside off was uh, what it pitched. Impact hit the bat. Oh, was it the LBW? I thought it was given out because it was caught. Yep. Never mind me, I'm talking nonsense. That's going to be overturned in the end, I guess. Henry Nichols survives. Jeez, I've got no idea what's going on in this match. New Zealand is 74 for 4, their lead pushing over 170 with a boundary to BJ Watling. And maybe from here they're in a, a quite a winning position. Any sort of score above 200 is going to be difficult to chase. That's right on the toe and going to be straight out by the umpire. Can't see this one being overturned at all. 
Did hit him on the full blow, so will we see that review? No, BJ Watling is going to go. So he's out for nine. He's yelling 78 for five. Yep. But gee, it's been a difficult batting wicket. I mean, it, it has not been easy for these guys. It's, uh, geez, it's really tough. Especially for the batsmen. No score above 20 so far this innings. New Zealand's lead 182, Rashid Khan and Zahir Khan have four between them, a couple each. 88 for five, New Zealand, the lead 183. The Grondholm and Nichols want to get that lead to 200, 200 plus. And they go to 220, 240, 260. Just continue to build that lead in little bursts. If they lose a wicket or two along the way, that's okay. They know they've got plenty of runs in the bank at the moment. And on a wicket like this that is very difficult to bat, 200 could just be enough. That's hit him on the pad. Is it a wrong one? Might have been, but it didn't quite spin back enough. And Rashid Khan, not out. This one, is it off the pad? I think it might be, yes. It's going to be out. So a little inside edge onto the pad. Rashid Khan has three. Comes off the shoe, doesn't it? Comes off the inside of the shoe and it just sort of balloons in the air. Nichols out for 34. New Zealand 113 for six. Again, we see another inside edge. Into the air for not a lot. It's busy. Busy at the wicket at the moment. Everyone looking for chances to take wickets. The batsmen may be looking to increase the rate of runs. I know they probably won't get, aren't going to be out there for a heap of time. If they can make it worthwhile, then it could be effective. There's Santa with a forward defence that is out as well. Zahir Khan's got another three to his name. Rashid Khan has three as well. Zetna out for 10. Zahi Khan's got another one. 7 for 124. Now Wagner makes his way to the middle. 219 run lead for New Zealand. They've got three wickets in hand. Oh, this is out as well. It's ballooned in the air. And Zahir Khan is on a hat trick. Oh, yes. Look at this one, just a little bit of bat onto the pad. The man, it uh, short mid off, short mid on, sorry, able to get it. Wagner at first ball. And a hat trick ball coming up here. Tim Southey will be the man on strike. Gee, this is the exciting times. We've got a hat trick ball here in the TTC. Zahir Khan, how will he go? Oh, Southey's able to keep it out with a good forward defence. So you tell you what though, the spin of Afghanistan today has been quite absurd. That looks pretty plumb. If you ask me, umpire yeah. thinks so as well. Finger goes up, wicket is given. Afghanistan have eight. The Grand Home out for 13. Actually, they've got nine. 124 for nine. So that one drops short. Bolton Saudi. New Zealand's lead 221 right now. Is it enough? I believe. I just thought for a moment, maybe it's not. But it's been so difficult for these sides to bat. New Zealand 128. And they could be all out. Gee, that one didn't quite carry. So that's another edge that goes to ground. So they're, they're just struggling here to get this final wicket. Oh, no, they're not. There it is. <laughs> I thought they were, but uh, no. Rashid Khan this time. He's got four. Zahir Khan's got four. The spinner's got eight between them there. Amadzi and Hassan with one wicket each as well. New Zealand all out for 131 runs as we head into the final session of play here on day three. The game is progressing so quickly now. How will Afghanistan respond? They can't afford a collapse in this session. Otherwise, it could be the game over for them. Saudi will be bowling. 
They'll just need to really survive. It is obviously the toughest time to bat. It's a drone on strike. Wait there. Oh, there's an edge. And this time, Bolt has the first for the Kiwis. Just pitch it up there, got the drive, got the edge. Watling took the catch. New Zealand. Nine wickets to go for victory. It's a drawn out for one. Afghanistan, one for one. And Sanala out there now. Oh, Jesus, just missed the edge. Gee, it just changed quickly, didn't it? Now they want two or oh, sent back. Oh, and then called it through. Oh, and then sent back. And then called through. And it's going to be a run out here. Oh, absolute disaster. For Afghanistan, it was the biggest yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes call of all time. And in the end, no one wanted to move from the middle of the pitch. Ends up being a run out. Question is, who was run out? We wouldn't have a clue. It's Isanala. Didn't get off the mark, only face the one ball. And now Yavin Amadi is out as well with an inside edge through to the keep up. South, he's got another one. Or oh, he's got his first actually. Yeah, the keeper probably could have taken that, but made the first slip of work for it. Watling wasn't paying too much attention out there. Anyway, Amadi out for two. And they are three wickets down with just two on the board. Afghanistan chasing 227. The worst possible start for them. They've lost two wickets in two balls here. Yep. This will be some runs. So Asgar Afghan, he's played some reasonable innings in this series so far. He'll need to play another one here. Seven from six at the moment. Ramit Shah, three from ten. We're not even into the final session. That was just a five-over spell before the final session. Jeez, Afghanistan could be all there before the end of the night if this rate continues. Twelve runs, three wickets down. It's all happening. Oh, there's an edge. And it's out. So there's another wicket. Another one. Southie's got it again. New Zealand continue to be in all sorts of goodness. Of course, they are the side that is leading at the moment. Don't know what I'm on about. But Ramit Shah's out for six. Afghanistan 15 for four. New Zealand on fire. Not in all sorts. They're in all sorts of form, really. They need six wickets for victory. We've only had one over in this session. They could get it done tonight. Extremely well done. It's be a couple more no runs. Or two runs, two runs. No run out. Yep. Or cut away and just between second and fourth slip from Asgar Afghan. That'll be four. Yes, it will. Huge. And now a big edge. Oh, geez, it's thick. That had about four C's of thickness. That's how thick that edge was. Went all the way to the boundary. 4-4. Four, four. Jeez, how many overs this session? There's been five overs. We've already seen a wicket lost. Not too many runs piled on. Yep. Now one into the gap. That'll be a couple. Jamal will pick up two. here and maybe a little mix up but they get home in the end and it really will just be where will the partnership for Afghanistan come from they just need one to stick together be out there for a decent period of time Afghan goes over the top for the boundary can it be these two can they get it done for Afghanistan or at least get them into a winning position Goes down the ground again. 
Four more runs. Yes, yeah, 77 for four. And continuing to survive over after over. Jamal and Asghar Afghan right now. They're giving them hope. They are giving them hope. If they don't lose a wicket before stumps, maybe they're a chance. Oh, geez, that's a little inside edge there. They want the single. Oh, no. Disaster. Absolute disaster. I've walked out of the commentary yeah. box. Because that is a huge run out. Asghar Afghan out for 37. And maybe that could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Jamal had a couple of balls laid up. With a court and bowled by Tim Saudi. It just fell apart quickly for Afghanistan after you just thought for a moment maybe they were a sniff. Jamal out for 39. It's 93 for 6. Jeez, and that one on the last ball of maybe the day. Almost getting rid of Rashid Khan. No, we've got one over to go. Oh, and there's an edge to begin it. There's an edge to begin the last over of the day. I mean, they can still get four wickets in an over, right? Still a possibility. Anyway, it looks as though these two might just see out the day's play. And with that drive from Rashid Khan for a single, they do. 98 for six at Stumps. Jeez, it was looking much better a few moments ago when they were at about 88 for four. It did look pretty good then. They've since lost two wickets late in the day's play. The run out of Asghar Afghan, the court and bold of Nasir Jamal. It put them in a really bad spot here. It's a New Zealand needing four wickets for victory on day four. We'll see you tomorrow where maybe they can get it done. Goodbye.